there's this thing that happens to people who travel whether you're nomadic or you stay in a place for even just a week that when it's nearly time to leave or transition to something new you get sad it's not depression i don't think it's more like mourning it's when you with intention try to make connections and form bonds with the people you see every day and in the community that you're temporarily staying in or even for a longer period of time that even though your lifestyle seems to be on the go and maybe at times erratic there's still some structure or routine that happens when you solo travel and then return back home to normalcy routines in your travel lifestyle can be going to the bakery on Wednesdays or picking up your favorite treat meal on Fridays taking a jog every Monday morning to a new neighborhood you know where I'm going with this and you can build this wherever in the world you are so as my Paris residency for this year is coming to an end I started to feel sad at the thought of leaving my perfect little flat in the sky and I started to move very slowly in every inch of my favorite nooks as if to imprint that feeling of being here on my last days I ran some errands I hit up my favorite places to eat for one last time and I took in one last yoga class at the Eiffel Tower I even made the girls do a dance party with me after one clearly stated I don't dance et voila there we were. So instead of being sad alone in my house for the last night, I tried to be proactive. I asked some friends to join me for one last sit on the lawn as I made a picnic to close out my stay for this year. And it just all made it a little less sad to say goodbye. And now here I am on a new adventure, this time at sea.